Hey, what's going on? JD here and I have a quick tutorial for you. Today, we are going to show you how to create a holographic image so you can show what you were looking at on your phone. All right, let's just jump right into it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Motion and we're gonna create a new project and we're going to add a drop zone. And what we're gonna do is we are going to scale that back and make a keyframe because what we want is this to kind of pop up. So we're gonna start at zero, move about six frames ahead, add another keyframe to make the drop zone 100%. And don't worry if you don't have Motion 5, we will have the files for you so you can go to the second part of this tutorial to do it all in Final Cut. So we're gonna add a marker here to our project. And what we're gonna do is we are going to select uh, Build In. Uh, the reason being for that is that we want that five, six frames, that quick expansion of the video screen uh, to be consistent regardless of how long we make this effect. So we only want it to have about five or six frames and that should be good. All right, so we're gonna just import our Instagram footage. I just recorded this off our phone. I'm going to drop it in there. And this is just so we can see things. Uh, we're going to publish that scale parameter because uh, once you take that out and clear it, it won't actually be there to publish. Uh, we're going to reduce that down so we can see. We're going to jump back and uh, we're going to publish the rotation. So that will allow us to rotate this image in 3D space in Final Cut Pro, which is important. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add glint and this sort of gives it that holographic effect. Now, you can mess around with all these kind of properties. You can change the color. Uh, I'm gonna make mine a little bit darker blue uh, and I'm going to tint, you know, sort of that glow a little more aggressively. Uh, and you can make it whatever color you want. Certain situations, it may call for a different color. So it's always good to, you know, take a look at the background of your setting and see how it works in there. Uh, we're going to mess around with the glint size as well. And then we're going to add some streaks. Now, that's a little bit too much in the way of lines. Uh, and you know, a bit overexposed. So we're gonna reduce the exposure a little bit, and then we're probably going to change the glint softness as well, just to kind of give it that, you know, holographic glow. We don't want anything too, too crazy, and we're just going to adjust that, and I'm probably gonna knock the exposure a bit. And again, if you want, you can publish these parameters so that when you save your project, you can adjust these in Final Cut Pro rather than jumping back and forth between Motion 5 and Final Cut. So we're gonna go to the properties here. We're gonna drop down the opacity to give it that transparent look. I'm gonna run it about 15%. And of course, now we're going to save it and one last final thing before I forget, we have to clear out that image so the drop zone can be filled in Final Cut Pro. And of course, we have to save that again. So now we move into Final Cut Pro. We take our new phone hologram effect and we're gonna stretch that out across the timeline. We're gonna drop that Instagram footage right into the drop zone. That's why we cleared it in Motion 5 and there you will see it appear. So we're gonna drop that scale back so we can get to a size that is more equivalent to the phone. And we're gonna change some of the adjustments here. As I mentioned before, publishing those things in Motion 5 will save you some time because you can now adjust these things directly in Final Cut Pro versus jumping back and forth between the programs. Now, once we've sort of got a look that we want, what we're going to do is start adjusting the rotation. And that was one of the important things that we published. So we want it to kind of line up with the phone. We're gonna transform, move it over, and now we're just going to rotate it to orientate the screen in a similar fashion to the way that I am holding the phone in the video. Uh, so we'll zero out the Z axis and that's probably 
well, that's close, pretty good. Uh, you can adjust it to however you want. And the beauty of this plugin is, is it doesn't have to be on an angle. It could cover the whole screen. You can do so many things with it. There really are no limits. The only limit being that of your imagination. So now that I've got it in the position that I want, I'm just going to click done and that should be good. Now, when we scrub through the footage here, we'll notice two things. Number one is as I move the phone, the screen remains stationary. That might be acceptable to you. And you might notice as well that when we are playing through the video that the motions that I do on the phone don't necessarily sync with the screen itself. So we're gonna need to fix that to make it a more convincing effect. So what we're going to do is we are gonna select the footage in the main timeline and we're going to slowly scrub through there and I'm going to mark when I do certain things like scroll up, swipe to the right, tap to turn off the phone. And what we're gonna do with that information is we are going to line it up with the cell phone Instagram footage that we're using for the hologram. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we are going to create a compound clip. So we're gonna quickly do that. And then we're just gonna set the clip speed to normal which it already is, but this will become more important later on when we have to adjust things. So moving on, we're gonna scroll through the footage and we are going to mark all the points in which, again, there are actions in the iPhone footage. So as the screen scrolls up, as it moves to the left and right, as I hit the screen to stop things, we are going to add marks. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to use the range selector and we're gonna select within that clip up to the first mark. And what we wanna do is line that up with our first mark that we have where we interact with the phone. So we're gonna do that by speeding up the footage. You're also gonna double click here and remove the speed transition. Then we continue to select ranges and adjust the speed so that the markers between the two clips line up. And in the end, our video should be synced. So this brings us to our final step here. What we're going to do is we are going to have the video footage follow the movement of the phone on screen. We're gonna do that utilizing keyframes. So we're going to start with the video image at its smallest point and add a keyframe. And as the phone moves, we are going to continue to add keyframes so it mimics as best we can the movement of that phone. Overall, it just adds that little bit extra to the effect and makes it a little bit more convincing for the viewer. So that's how you create a holographic image for your videos. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video as well as future videos that you might like to see. And until next time, see ya.